You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. We are kicking off your 11 minutes of nonstop news with a check of your weather and traffic. Jesse, how are we starting off the work week? Not bad at all. It's just a few clouds overhead, but no rain or precipitation coming out of the clouds. Nah, none. We do have them in place, though, and we'll see partly sunny skies as we head through at least early afternoon before the threat for showers will pop up after about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Temperatures in the 70s. Got some 60s out there as well. 71 Duluth, 75 degrees in Atlanta. A little warm there. 69 degrees in Peachtree City, 68 over toward Carrollton, 64. Low 60s up here to the far north. Here's your what to wear forecast for today. Because of the heat, 91 degrees for the afternoon high temperature. I'm going to say short sleeves and shorts today, along with the soccer ball so you can play after school. Today, a Fulton County jury will hear from witnesses in a trial over the death of a seven year old girl. Kennedy Maxey was hit by a stray bullet in Buckhead just a few days before Christmas. Molly Oak has more on what to expect from the trial of her accused killer. After hearing emotional testimony from the seven year old's mother last week, prosecutors say jurors should hear from three people who were with the defendant at the time of the shooting. That shooting happened on December 21st in 2020 on Peachtree Road in front of Phipps Plaza. Kennedy Maxey died days later in the hospital. According to prosecutors, someone robbed the defendant, Daquan Reed, in the mall parking lot, and then investigators believe he was mad and shot his gun twice out the window on Peachtree. Prosecutors say one of those bullets traveled through the trunk of the car and the seat that Maxey was in and then hit the seven-year-old. A witness list from prosecutors shows this week jurors should also hear from Atlanta police officers, ballistic experts, and other investigators. Reed is charged with murder. However, his attorneys say he didn't have a gun and he didn't fire any weapon. Back to you all. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news, here's what's happening now. We're working to learn more from Clayton County Police after a deadly shooting in College Park. One person was killed and three others were injured when shots were fired Saturday night. This happened on Riverdale Road in unincorporated College Park. Police are not saying what led to the shooting or giving information about a possible suspect or searching that. Police officers across the state will come together today to say a final goodbye to a man known as a law enforcement icon. Today is the funeral for Morrow's former police chief, James Calloway. He died unexpectedly at the age of 47 a week ago. Calloway joined Morrow's police force in 2006, served as its chief from 2016 through 2020. Atlanta City Council could approve a plan to let Fulton County house up to 700 inmates at the city detention center in an effort to relieve overcrowding. We've learned Fulton County would pay Atlanta $50 a day for each detainee. The county would also receive 65% of fees from detainees making phone calls. The average price for a gallon of gas in Georgia is now down to $3.51, and Georgia still aren't paying taxes at the pump. The state tax remains suspended until September 12th. That lost revenue is costing the state about $150 million every month, according to some estimates. New this morning, lawyers for WNBA star Brittany Griner are appealing her Russian prison sentence. Griner was sentenced to nine years earlier this month after being arrested at Moscow's airport with vape cartridges. Russian President Vladimir Putin says he's ready to talk about a prisoner swap with the U.S. Right now, a group of U.S. Congress members are visiting Taiwan's parliament. The two-day visit is an effort to show continuing support for the self-governing island and to encourage stability and peace. The group is the second congressional delegation to visit Taiwan this month. And also developing this morning, Iran is denying any involvement in the attack on renowned author and former Emory University professor Salman Rushdie. Rushdie is now off a ventilator three days after he was stabbed an estimated 12 times. He was attacked just as he was set to give a lecture in upstate New York. The author's son described his injuries as life-changing and says he's still in critical condition. Law enforcement officials say Rushdie's accused attacker was inspired by Iran-related extremism. Today will be a planning day for teachers at Union County Schools. The district will welcome students back tomorrow. It comes after a maintenance employee was arrested and charged for firing a gun on school grounds. It happened Thursday, the day before students were set to go back to class. Fulton County starts the second week of school this morning as students head back to class. Ariana Manise is getting a better look at how the district is keeping your kids safe. The Fulton County School Board says they're placing a greater emphasis on protecting students and teachers after the school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. The school board met last week and school safety was a major theme of their work session.
We learned that the district is moving forward with investing in new video surveillance cameras. Now, these are high tech cameras that will check vehicle license plates against criminal databases. The district is also installing alarms for all exterior doors. Superintendent Mike Looney is also reinforcing the district See Something, Say Something campaign, where students and staff will have access to an anonymous tip line called SHARE, which stands for See It, Hear It, and Report It Every Time. The district has also expanded community partnerships with local police departments, which increases coordination and law enforcement presence at school campuses. Next month, we'll learn how the school district plans to spend $6 million that was set aside for school safety. Back to you. Weather-wise, this is what you're going to need to know today. If you're going out to, uh, through noon, it should be the driest part of the day. This morning through noon, looking at partly sunny skies, 86 will be your temperature by noon. Now, once we get past 3 o'clock, there could be a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms around. 30% chance is what we'll give it. 91 for your afternoon high. It's going to be a hot one out there. Driving home at 6 o'clock, you're still looking at those isolated thunderstorms around. 89 degrees will be your temperature by 6. All right, we got to give a shout out to our favorite professor. You're headed back for a new school year. <laughs> let's go. Let's get it. All let's right. It. What kind of professor are you? Test uh, on the first environmental day. Environmental science. Oh, no, 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 no. We're talking about the environment. You know, no test, no homework, uh, anything. No pop quizzes? Until Wednesday. Oh, oh, there we go. You've been warned. <laughs> you got a couple of days. All right, enjoy the day out there, everybody. Today's show is coming up next. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.